Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Omar Sayman. Um, you know, living in this country, you know, myself having been born in New Orleans, and I remember growing up in this country, obviously, you know, trying to find that balance between practicing our faith and at the same time being, you know, good American citizens practicing in this country where we can contribute. And many of the times the hindrances that we face are that we, you know, is, is the lack of acceptance. Obviously the Islamophobia, the, the ignorance towards our faith sometimes, you know, causes people to be suspicious about us and causes people to think that uh, we're here to do anything but good. But in this country, in this society, we have this ability to not only be a part of it, not only to be accepted, but rather to contribute. And a lot of times we find that people sense this intimidation because they're in a situation where they constantly feel like they're being watched, they're constantly being harassed, um, they're constantly being asked. And we have to get to a point as a community where we no longer feel like we just want to be at the table, where we're actually contributing, where we're actually standing up for our rights, where we're actually being a part of the discussion, where we're framing our own narrative. And I don't know any organization in America that does that better than Care For Us. I don't know any organization that really represents us as well as Care in the media today. We have incredible representatives. I mean, I know them all on a personal level, and mashallah, they're just as beautiful uh, off camera as they are on camera. And they go on there, you know, on these, on, in these hostile environments, and they really take a stand for us. And when they do that, it allows us to have a greater sense of comfort. It allows us to feel a greater sense of confidence. It allows us to feel that sense of protection. So we can, you know, so we can express our full, uh, you know, patriotism while at the same time not feeling threatened for practicing our faith. Where we can feel that combination, that pure combination and balance between being Muslim and being American. And so I urge you to support this organization. This is, you know, in, in my opinion, in this time in particular, these next few years, it's going to be more crucial than any other time. So please do support this organization, not just you know financially, but but really morally. Uh, follow their Facebook page. I read their Facebook page and their Twitter and their website every day. I follow, you know, uh, Dawood Walid, Nihad Awad, Hassan Shibli, uh, Zainab. Uh, I know all of their names. You know, I can go through the list because I constantly follow them and I follow their work. And every single time I see them representing us in the media, I make dua for them and I pray for them. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to also pray for our brothers and sisters that are out there and representing us in these hostile environments and keep on. Supporting supporting them and letting them know that just as they're there for us, we're there for them. So please do support Karen, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.